Um, you're on my shot again. You're still on my shot. Get used to it. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something completely different again. So we just went grocery shopping. I was gonna literally gonna film the grocery shopping stuff and I forgot the camera in the car. So let me show you guys. Here's some of the stuff that I bought. Um, I tried to also minimize the amount of plastic I use, but it's really hard. So I get these, some eggs, some veggies. I'm also trying some stuff with coconut milk. So I'm gonna do that. Some um, blackberries and raspberries. I'm also trying biotin right now. See, cause my nails are really thin. So I wanna see if that helps out. Cheese and stuff. This is more for like the boyfriend. And then chicken and ground turkey. Um, but yes, uh, I'll show you guys how to do all the meal prepping with this, and yeah. veggies that I decided to get for today um, these are some asparagus and guess I'm really bad at knowing the names of my veggies just FYI but these are some green beans that I will be cooking I will also be adding broccoli that I have and then some sweet grape tomatoes I love these baked and i'm gonna actually try it a little bit different this time and i'm not gonna bake them i'm gonna make them at the same time that i make some white rice and see how it comes out so this is what we'll be doing for veggies and then we're gonna be cooking also some ground beef with it and i think it's gonna come out good so let's see So I poured the rice in here and now we have to pour water as well. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put the veggies on top. I've actually never tried this before. So let's see how it works out putting veggies in here and steaming them. I'm going to place this in here. Close it and then, oh well we got it connected. Did I connect it? Yes I did. Okay so it's connected. Turn it on. This would just be white rice. And let's hope that steams it. I've never done this. Where's this steam cook? Does this, do I have to steam it? <laughs> well, let's just gonna do it like this and see how it works. So that's gonna sit there and cook for a little while. Meanwhile, we're also gonna do the chicken. Here's the Master Chef. What are you doing, Mr. Master Chef? Cutting chicken. Oh, wow. That's such a hard technique. Most, most difficult. <laughs> most difficult technique. Most difficult. So lately I've been trying to use this app right here called Lifesum. And by the way, do not try that bulletproof coffee. At least I couldn't handle it. 
and it was not good. So I actually want to try a recipe that I saw here. Let's see if I can find it. It's this one, the chia pudding. It just takes this right here. Just um, two thirds cup coconut milk, uh, one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds, and for the pure vanilla powder, shoot, I don't have vanilla powder, um, vanilla extract would that work? And then 25 grams of mixed berry. So I'm gonna try and attempt to make this right here. I highly doubt it'll look that cool. There it is, said so to at least it, let it sit for um, 30 minutes in the refrigerator, but I'm gonna try and do it overnight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be pouring the blue the blueberries and raspberries that I bought and some nuts to it. And we'll see how it works and hopefully it tastes good and it's something we can do for a good morning breakfast. And then I could just easily add it to the app to track it. So we're cooking the chicken, maybe salt and pepper, garlic powder, and then after that we're going to get it onto the rest of the bowls. Yay! So I'll fix them all up here so we can organize them, and then we'll pour the white rice or the veggies and the chicken or in the ground turkey. Okay, so the rice is ready. I'm going to turn it off because I don't need it to keep it warm. And let's see... The veggies, they look like good. When I was cooking, it smelled so much like broccoli. So, that's the looks. Let's hope it's good. I can't get this one to stay open. There we go. I don't know how, this is pretty hot. Let me kind of stay me. Get a little how to take it out and there's the rice Ooh, hot hot looks good looks like I did it right I guess there was no big science to it so now I am gonna grab half a cup or full cup of it depending on it and I'm just gonna pour in some of these just for me I'm gonna take a few tomatoes and uh, each so for right now we're gonna make some coffee no coffee not coffee some tea because it is um it is it is it is uh, 11.30 almost, it's 11.29, so I just bought some, how would you say, camoli? Camomile. 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 Tea. Now how would you really say it? No, chamomile. Camomile, I guess. Some chamomile tea, and this is my homemade lavender honey. All you pretty much you do is just get a cup of honey and a cup of lavender and you boil them together and it gives you some really amazing yummy honey. So we're going to pour that in here. I'll show you guys in a little bit how I do it. And some honey and it's a great sleepy time tea. So here is all the meals ready and done. I had enough turkey to make three meals. Meals. 
meals. So I'm gonna skip on the um, salmon for this week. I'll probably, I could do it for dinner too. But I still wanted to show you guys the one that I got. I actually usually always get it from the butcher shop. This is, this is my first time buying this one. So I bought the Great Valley Pink Salmon Skinless Flats. Um, I've only tried it once. It wasn't as, I guess, flavorful as the one from the butcher, but it, it it worked out. It's good. The only thing I don't like is it comes out in so much plastic. Uh, but these are already on like um, serving size. And they're ready to just take out and eat. But yeah. When your refrigerator has the best lighting ever. Yes. Thank you. What are we doing up here? Breakfast. You breakfast ready? Okay. So... The meals are ready. These are the raspberries and blackberries that I'm gonna be using for it. It looks pretty good. It's been here for definitely more than 30 minutes. It looks pretty like pudding-ish looking. So now let's just hope it tastes good. Um, one thing that I've been using and eating a lot with my meals has been been using this, the coconut aminos. So it's like um, soy sauce. And if people know me, people know that I actually don't do spicy at all but I've actually been really into this um, I guess um, sriracha sauce and I've actually been eating kind of tiny bit spicy but I love pouring this and some of the amino uh, coconut aminos onto my food and my veggies um, when I eat it during lunch and that's a great way to stay in shape right <laughs> So, we also finished the little tea. It's nice and done. It smells so good. It honestly smells more like the lavender. But Perfect. It's not that sweet. It's actually really good. Aside from the bag where I had the tea that I just bought, um, or the flower that I just bought, if you guys noticed, everything was plastic free so I use reusable tea bags and I have a lot of um, different jars for the food so I'll probably do like a what would it be called uh, what's in my kitchen or what's in I don't know what or how do I do it but I'm really trying to minimize the amount of plastic that I use in my kitchen well the boyfriend's using a plastic knife where'd you get that from oh, sorry, a way of you want to live and you don't have you can't force other people to live that way right no nope. <laughs> so yes i'm gonna enjoy this little tea that's gonna help me go to sleep after i take a two hour nap today for some reason and then we're gonna be done you're eating breakfast at night no it's oh. <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video i know it's really different from what i do <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm gonna keep doing that I'm gonna keep just pretty much doing videos of all the things that I'm doing now in my daily life and not just sticking to makeup and just having fun with it so and so yep I'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs> we made a bet <laughs>